the superior fishability of this boat is a given. After all, I drive one. Okay, well as you can most certainly see behind me, we got a full Ricky Bobby starter kit on the rig. So she's looking good. Um, I've been putting off a walkthrough video. Um, so everyone wants to see the new 2021 and how it's set up and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you and, and show you a couple new things for this year and whatever, just a couple cool things about the boat in general. So uh, yeah, stick around for that. The wrap on this thing is looking pretty dialed this year, I think. Uh, they did her at Contemper Signs, did a really good job. Uh, sports headquarters is taking the bulk of it this year. Um, just thought I'd have to remind everyone too about where to get all your uh, fishing and outdoor equipment. Uh, sports headquarters, they've got a couple stores, one in Kenora, one in Winnipeg, and a big online deal. Um, they've got everything you could you know, ever want when it comes to to bass fishing and walleyes and multi-species and boat rigging and hunting and and the list goes on uh, so definitely check that out uh, you know it's good to support local too and if you're not local go there anyway it's taken me a long time a lot of work and a lot of help from uh, you know good companies to get to this point um, so definitely appreciate that and uh, yeah I mean I'm super excited about it yeah like there's there's no boat on earth that I'd rather own than this thing. So it's uh, it's a legit dream boat for me. So it's, it's I mean, essentially the same boat I got last year. It's the 2075 Lund Pro V Bass. Uh, I did a full walkthrough of them last year. I'm not gonna do that this year. I'll just go over a couple things and uh, show you some of the, the cool changes for this year. Um, well, start with the rims here. Changed them up a little bit. They look pretty sweet. Uh, I wasn't crazy about them on the website compared to the last year's, but once you see them in person, they're, they're dialed in. Those need a little bit of a shine. Obviously rims are not a, a deciding factor in what kind of boat you should get, but if you're gonna get your dream boat, and you may as well have some nice rims to flex in the Dairy Queen parking lot with. The biggest change, uh, you know, the, the most notable change for 2021, it's a totally redesigned console. I'm still waiting on my second Helix here. Uh, just got a, ran into a little bit of a delay here, so I just have the one on one side, so it looks a little bit stupid right now, but I've got twin Helix 9s. Um, that's a, a good general size I found if you're gonna run two. Uh, you can put two 12s up here. There's tons of room on this new deck. Uh, it's, they've just made it so much better for rigging. You can see they've got little wiring channels going back. You can bolt it right to this. Uh, super nice. Gauges are the same. The switches are real nice. Got a minty kicker stereo in there. That comes stock now, uh, which is awesome. If, I mean, if you're a cheapskate like me and ever order the stereo, um, you know, I used like a brutal little Amazon speaker last year and was not loving it. Uh, but this thing's sweet. The speaker over there, speaker over there. Oh, better shut that off before you get demonetized for copyright infringement. Um, next, look at that. They got the lube tuber in mind. It's a twin USB outlet, so obviously works really good for charging your phone or hooking up your GoPro, whatever. Just a really good thought. Um, and they still did keep the, uh, the 12 volt like cigarette style outlet so you can still access that if you need it what else beauty little tool holder here that's sweet like you know just a minor change it makes your life a lot easier um so yeah come around it's just sweet it's all fiberglass construction uh you know there's none of that plastic stuff that used to be on them which was fine but this is just really sleek really nice looking and definitely set up with an angler in mind. So that's uh, that's kind of one of the big changes for 2021. So another one of the changes of this rig for uh, 2021, uh, and if, like I said, if you watched my walkthrough video I did last year, 
one of my kind of warnings with the storage was that if you put anything back here, any water running through this area would, you know, hit the floor here. So you couldn't really put anything there. Well, they've changed it right on the fly. And uh, well, they, they got right to fixing that and put a, put a floor in there. So the water no longer comes in contact with anything down there. So that's, uh, that's one of the kind of great things about Lund. Um, you know, they came out with this platform in I think 2016 and every single year there's been improvements. It's getting to the point where it kind of can't really get any better, I, it feels like, but yeah, these minor adjustments year after year, like it's just becoming such a sweet rig. And I don't mean to make this sound like a Lund commercial, but it's the truth. They listen to the anglers, obviously, and uh, you know, they want, they want to be able to put out an, an awesome fishing platform and and uh, you know, they're not afraid to make changes. So that's great. So I mentioned the console was probably the, the biggest change on the 2021 models. Um, but my favorite change to them is the padded deck. Uh, they made it an option now to uh, put padding under the carpet. It was never an option in Lunds before. You know, it was an option in, in some fiberglass bass boats. And now this whole massive casting deck, the whole thing is padded. Um, I didn't realize this, but I guess in, in bass boats, they only pad them from the pedestal forward, uh, where, you know, in, in this Lund, this whole entire rig, I think it was an extra 200 bucks to have it done. Um, whole entire deck is padded. So uh, if you're 22 years old and watching this, you're thinking, who cares? Just wait till you're older. I can definitely feel the burn from, from fishing long days and I can feel it in my back and everything. So having this padded deck, I've noticed it already. It just makes it so much more enjoyable out there. It just gives you so much more longevity. Um, you know, probably in 10 years, I'll be getting her double stuffed with padding. So a couple other things I did differently. Um, obviously there's Raptors on the back of this one. Uh, made the change to hydraulic. Got the pumps mounted in here, so. Anyway, the pumps are in here, so it does take up a compartment, which, I mean, to me in this boat really isn't a big deal because there's so much storage anyway, but I've been really, really happy with these Raptors. Um, they are only eight footers. Uh, so, you know, there's gonna be times where you miss the, the length of the 12 or the 15 sometimes, but I'm telling you, they hold you like no other. When you put them down, they actually lift the back of the boat off uh, and the holding power is super impressive. They're quiet, they're light. I love everything about them. So that's uh, that's been a good addition to the team this year. Yeah, that's enough of a grown man holding the stick with the camera attached to it, talking to himself in the garage. Uh, I'm gonna splash this thing and uh, I'll show you a couple things out on the water. Um, so if you are sticking around, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, so this boat, a uh, couple things about it that just make it feel particularly dialed this year. Um, one is the 10 inch Atlas jack plate. I had that last year. Another thing, uh, like I mentioned earlier, those Raptors are so much lighter. Uh, you can notice that weight difference back there, um, you know, and, and in the top end for speed too. And uh, one thing that I did change this year was add lithium batteries. Uh, so those did a few things. They made the boat go faster. They make it go longer on the trolling motor and I get a little more bow lift now uh, and believe it or not it makes a big difference when I'm running so I mean I essentially took 160 or 170 pounds out of the bow so uh, that made a big difference in you know in performance and and dealing with rough water and everything so it's kind of right where I want it right now uh, yeah this this is uh, about as good as it gets for me I think so I mentioned that these Canbat lithiums lift the bow up and uh, I'm able to navigate better and get better performance out of the boat. Um, but one thing taking all that weight out of the bow does too, um, you know, with the bow elevated, uh, I can see a lot more. These boats already sit higher than any bass boat, um, you know, so you have such an advantage, you know, over others at, at being able to see everything. and. Um, take another 170 pounds out of the front and you know it comes up that much more it's like standing on a step stool up here um so yeah those Canbat ones are the ones i use they're the lightest ones you can get um you know good brand good value
These are really hard to catch right now. Flyer holder, it's a thing. I found the magical rock. To catch nine pounds. Of I'm not saying I found that rock because I got a tall casting deck on this line and lithium batteries in it. But if I was a little bit shorter or sitting a little bit lower, it's possible that I wouldn't have. <laughs> that's a nice one so if you're interested in a pro v bass or any other lund boat or anything in the Kenora area that has to do with marine or power sports or anything go right there literally right across the road that's wsl sport Kenora location Tall Pines Green right there, beauty spot, bass in the bay, walleye out front. Go in, see Cam and the crew, and ask him a bunch of questions. He's an angler too, so he knows what's going on. You obviously might not be ready to get uh, a, a big 20 foot fishing boat with a 250 right out of the gate, um, you know, but I, I work my way up and that's, that's what most people do. And you gotta start somewhere and go to places any.